Joel Self, Outdoor Instructor here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm not well known for my cooking, however, we're going to be making some nettle soup today. So first things first, we need to gather ourselves some nettles. You might want to use gloves for this because it can sting you, but if you're nice and sensible about it, pinch the nettle firmly, you won't get stung. What we're looking to do is grab the top of the nettle and take the last bit of growth. We want kind of the top four to six leaves, so we've got the freshest stuff. And we don't want to be doing this near a road or where lots of dogs get walked um, for obvious reasons. So you're going to need to collect yourself a fair few nettles and on the screen I'll put the weight down um, of how many nettles I pick here today. So we're just carrying on the nettle picking here and I spotted some of these nettles. Now, we've talked about these before in a previous video. These are white dead nettles, so they've got these sort of soft, droopy little petals on them. They don't get the small, uh, tight, ball-like flowers that the common nettle gets. Both of these are edible. The difference is we can eat the white dead nettle when it's in flower, whereas we don't want to pick the common stingy nettle when it's in flower because it can give you some problems with your kidneys. So we're going to take a whole load of these dead nettles as well because these are edible too. The difference between the white dead nettle and the uh, stingy nettle is these don't sting you. So you can grab these by the handful quite comfortably without being worried about getting stung, which is great. We're also going to take a couple of stingy nettles from here as well just to cover all bases. And uh, once we've got all the, all the nettles we need, we'll uh, get these home and start making our soup. If you want to learn a little bit more about the difference between the white dead nettle and the common stingy nettle, check out this video using the link below. So we're back in the kitchen now and we've just picked all the leaves off of the stems so that we've just got the, uh, the leaf of each nettle and we've weighed these. The dry weight is between 30 and 40 grams um, and this will be enough to make stingy nettle soup for one or two people. Dice one half onion. Then fry these in oil until they're partly translucent. While the onion fries, peel and dice one small potato. Time to get the kettle on. We're going to add 450 millilitres of boiling water to one vegetable stock cube. And I also took some time at this point to add one clove of diced garlic to my frying onion. Okay, so we've washed our nettles. We're going to now just dice these up. So make a nice little pile, take your knife, and we're just going to get these cut up really nice and fine. You may have to go over them quite a few times to get them cut up nice and small, um, but that's going to be key to unleashing all the flavour from these. Put all of your diced stingy nettles into the pot with your garlic and your onion. So we've popped the nettles into the pan with the onion and the garlic, and we're shortly going to add our vegetable stock and the chopped potatoes. Once the potatoes in, you can leave this bubbling away on the stove for as long as you feel you need to. I left mine cooking away for about 10 minutes before I did anything else. To thicken up the soup, we take one teaspoon of corn flour and a bit of water. We're gonna add that to our mix and stir that in well. This is the time to add any extra seasoning you want. I just left mine as is. So. Just give it a quick taste to make sure it uh, is as you want it. Once you're happy, you can serve this up and it's all good, straight away, nice and hot, ready to eat. Prepare it in your kitchen or in the wood and that will be a lovely hot meal for you to have on those nice evenings whilst we're in lockdown. This is a lovely soup. Make it at home or make it in the wood. It's perfect. If you want to get really fancy, you can even add in some hawthorn flowers for a dash of colour and a slightly different flavour too. Thank you for watching. I've been Joel Swift Outdoor Instructor. Goodbye.